Welcome to the second scene of our Populism in Progressivism series. This scene is about muckrakers, which is why it takes place in a mud pit. Wait, I mean muck pit. Muckrakers were investigative journalists who exposed the underside of American life, calling the people in the government to arms. There are several important people you should know for your exams, each of them depicted by a rake in this scene. Jumping in muck sounds like fun. Let's go ahead and get our hands dirty. First, notice the staircase in the background. Does it look familiar? Well, it should because this is the progressivism staircase. That's a recurring symbol for populism and progressivism. This era was dominated by steady progress through many reforms, which is symbolized by the steady progress you will make when you climb up our staircase. Next, take a look at this woman holding a rake. She is our first muckraker, and her name is Ida Tarbell. To help you remember this name, we've drawn this woman holding a bell covered in black tar for Ida Tarbell. Tarbell was the writer of McClure's magazine. To illustrate this, we've drawn a magazine with our recurring muck symbol or MC symbol to help you remember McClure's magazine. This magazine is sitting in spilled oil from a fallen standard oil barrel. This should help you remember that Ida Tarbell's writings played a key role in breaking up the Standard Oil Company. Next, let's find our second rake. It's leaning against this well with a dead crow on top of it. The well should help you remember the name Ida B. Wells, and the dead crow should help you remember that Ida Wells attacked the Jim Crow laws in her writing. Jim Crow laws enforced racial segregation and discrimination in the South. Think of separated bathrooms, one for white Americans and another for colored Americans of other races. Ida B. Wells hated this discrimination and promoted anti-lynching laws through her writing. Next, look up to find our next muckraker. This rake is near bags of rice and a tent. The rice should help you remember the name Jacob Rees. Rees was a photographer and a journalist who wrote a book titled The Other Half Lives which described the awful living conditions of poor immigrants living in tenement dwellings in New York City. To help you remember this fact, we've drawn an I Heart New York design on the tent to help you remember tenement dwellings in New York City. We've also covered half of this tent in a different color to help you remember the title of Reese's book, The Other Half Lives. Moving left, check out this boy holding a rake in front of the shack. Is that a sun on the shack? That's right, this sun shack is a recurring symbol for the name Jackson. This should help you remember the name Helen Hunt Jackson. And what's that book in his hand? It seems oddly familiar. You guessed it, this book titled A Hundred Years with the Broken Medal of Dishonor is a recurring symbol for Helen Hunt Jackson's book, A Century of Dishonor. If you remember our scene in the Great American West, Jackson wrote a book about the U.S. government's terrible actions against the American Indian people. To help you remember this key association, we've drawn an American Indian headdress around this boy's head. Next, take a look at the last rake in the hand of this pen-holding journalist. He is standing near an outdoor sink, which should help you remember the name Upton Sinclair. Sinclair wrote a book titled the jungle, which is why there are jungle plants beneath the sink. And what's that in the sink? Is that rotten meat? That's disgusting! We've drawn this rotten meat here to help you remember that Sinclair's book, The Jungle, was about disgusting practices by people in the meatpacking business. In his book, he described rat feces, poisonous fertilizer, and even human flesh that was mixed with sausage in a factory. Pretty nasty stuff. Finally, pay attention to this pure soap bottle on the sink. In response to Sinclair's book, Congress passed the Meat Inspection Act, but more importantly, the Pure Food and Drug Act of 1906. This pure soap is for cleaning the food around it, much like the Pure Food and Drug Act ensured clean food for eating. This act created the Food and Drug Administration, better known as the FDA, which to this day still ensures that food and drugs are safe for human consumption. To help you remember this fact, we've drawn an FDA logo on the pure soap bottle by the sink. 
That's it for our muckrakers. To summarize, muckrakers were journalists who wrote about the bad side of America. Their writings led to public anger, which forced the government to take action in order to make things right again. Just remember our muck pit and the various characters in it, and you'll be ready to answer any question about the muckrakers. Hey, don't you come in here with that muck. You go get yourself clean right this minute.